On the Nikon D90, there are six choices for release mode that control what the camera does when you press the shutter button. Most of the time, you'll want the camera to take just one picture only, but sometimes you'll want it to fire off several pictures in a row. Or maybe you'll want to use the self-timer so you can run over and get into the picture yourself. Changing the release mode is accomplished the same way that other camera settings are changed. You just hold the button down while you rotate the main command dial. The choices are single frame. This is the mode you'll use most often. The camera takes one photo each time the shutter release button is pressed. Continuous low speed. The camera will record from one to four frames per second, depending on how you've programmed its menu setting, while you hold down the shutter release button. The default speed is three frames per second. Continuous high speed. The camera will record up to 4.5 frames per second until you release the shutter button. Self-timer. Using the timer with the camera mounted on a tripod delays taking the picture by several seconds after you press the shutter button. The default length of the delay is 10 seconds, but it can easily be changed to 2 seconds, 5 seconds, or 20 seconds by changing the appropriate menu setting. Now 10 seconds is good if you want to go over and get into the picture, but a 2 second delay is often used while shooting at slow shutter speeds to give the camera a chance to settle down after you press the shutter button, thus preventing blurry images. The final two release modes are Delayed Remote and Quick Response Remote. Both of these require the use of an optional remote control for releasing the shutter without even touching the camera. For more great digital photography tips, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com digital. And thank you for watching and have fun shooting.